Well, hey guys, welcome back. Uh, it's been a while, so I'm a little rusty, so bear with me, but <sighs> let's go. So welcome back. It has been like a very, very long time. Okay. First of all, before I get into anything about the content of this video, I want to apologize in advance because I am sitting in the out and because I'm sitting in the out, there's nature happening. And for whatever reason, this is like squirrel feeding time. So I keep hearing them crack open the pecans off of my pecan tree want to apologize in advance for any kind of noise or anything that you might hear from birds or squirrels because there are plenty around here. <sighs> that said, hey guys, like it's been months. I've been real slack. Um, sorry. Life's been good though, so we can catch up uh, and, and get up to speed to where we are right now. Um, so yeah, we're going to do that. First of all, if you are a returning viewer, subscriber, friend. Welcome back. Thank you so much for clicking on the video today. If you are new, hello, it is a pleasure to meet you. My name is Karen. I am an ordinary human. Uh, I happened to start this channel a couple years ago in order to document my health journey. Um, during this time, I have actually over the course of seven years um, been implementing a very low carbohydrate diet in order to try to achieve optimal health. Um, over the period of time that I've been here, that's varied from dirty keto to traditional keto to some carnivore spells. And most recently, a few months ago, I actually shifted more into a little bit of a looser, low carb type of approach, um, just because that, that is what has worked out best for me. So that's where we are now, following a high protein, low carbohydrate kind of diet. Um, that said, by following these different variations of low carb over the last few years, I managed to lose 65 pounds. I've also put my type 2 diabetes in remission, seen relief from things like chronic heartburn and indigestion, gout flares, joint pain. Um, chronic fatigue and brain fog and sleep disturbances, including sleep paralysis, which super sucks. If you've ever experienced it, then you know. Um, but yeah, like absolute, total, terrible self-esteem issues and all of the things. So it took some time. Uh, I hit some speed bumps and things along the way, but overall I achieved a lot of things as far as really improving my health. I am now 43 years old. I am currently, I'm just under five foot six. I've lost like an inch and a half of my height. However, that happens. Uh, and currently sitting at 163 pounds, not my goal weight. Uh, my goal weight is actually 140, really like anywhere between 140, 145 is my goal weight. Um, so I'm still working towards that. I have seen a lot of success so far this year, once I switched from a ketogenic lifestyle more towards low carb and high protein, um, just because with including more carbs, I've been able to focus on having a little bit more volume without as many calories that you get with kind of the higher fat um, type of, of proteins and things with a ketogenic diet. So this is just what's worked for me. Um, I've enjoyed experimenting along the way and figuring it out. So that's where we are now. High protein, low carb. Traditionally, that means for me, I, I aim for a minimum of about 120 grams of protein a day. And my carbohydrate number varies anywhere from, I would say about 60 to 100 grams, just depending on the day. Um, I work a very active job. So on my work days, I tend to be a little higher on the carbohydrate spectrum. And then my days off, I fall a little bit lower. Uh, really, I think just by happenstance, um, both with my caloric intake, because I do limit it a little bit more on my days off when I'm less active. And also just because my energy needs aren't as high on my days off since I'm not doing quite as much. So that said, 
I will throw my macros up on the screen that I'm currently following. Um, I switched from using Carb Manager over to using Carbon Diet Coach, which is a paid app from uh, Lane Norton. And that's what I've been using for the last several months and I really enjoy it. So that's what you're seeing over here with my current macros that I'm following and aiming for. So all of that summed up, let's catch up with the rest of life real quick. I'm gonna try and give you the Cliff's Notes. Um, I haven't been on here in forever. Um, I start filming a lot and then never get around to editing because I am stupid busy. Uh, <laughs> I currently am working between like 60, 65 hours a week. Um, so frankly, those days that I work, when I get home, I am too tired to film or do any editing. Um, and then on my days off, I'm kind of scrambling to get all of my normal household stuff done. Um, it, it really is just a balancing act that I haven't quite figured out, but I'm trying. Um, so that's probably the, the biggest reason why I haven't been able to post and update you guys very often. Um, in addition, like there's been a lot of life stuff happening lately. Um, <laughs> my oldest turned 21 this summer and about two weeks after he turned 21, he and his girlfriend got engaged, um, and announced their engagement in June. A couple of months after they announced their engagement, they decided that it was time to start a family and got pregnant. So I'm going to be a grandma, uh, in the spring of next year. So that's a big thing that has happened. Uh, so I, I have a, I'm going to be a, a 43 year old grandma and I have this whole new little chunk of family. Um, so that's been a little stressful, you know, health wise things have been pretty good. Um, I've been maintaining my weight loss up through this point and I have been all of my, my testing, everything has been great. Um, I will say, I just want to throw in a little reminder here for everybody that is in my age group. I am 43 and I was eight months late getting my mammogram this year. So then when I went to get it, it came back a little wonky. Um, and that was a few weeks of stress and worry because I had to have, um, in addition to a regular mammogram, I had to do the diagnostic mammogram and then an ultrasound. And then I had to have a stereostatic biopsy because this side over here decided to be weird. Um, but luckily everything is absolutely clear and good to go. Um, but it was just, you know, the, the stress of thinking there might be something there, but please have your screenings. Um, because in this year alone, two of my friends, uh, under 50, one who is my age, 43, uh, has already undergone all of her treatments for breast cancer that was found earlier this year. And then another friend of mine who's 47, she is currently, um, fighting breast cancer. So I just want to remind you that it is very important to get those screenings. Um, I was terrified waiting for my results and I know that it seems to be happening more and more with younger women. Um, so just please don't forget those screenings. Don't skip them. So that said, all of that, all of those things, the lifing that's been happening has had me a little stressed. So I spent a few weeks kind of eating my feelings and not doing the best as far as making the best choices. So that said, I have regained about six pounds from my lowest. I'd gotten down to 157. Um, I was feeling great and super confident and just six pounds. So it's not the worst, right? I could have done way worse. Um, but with, you know, eating pizza and Chinese food and stuff and just like not making the best choices because I was very emotional and stressed. Um, you know, that little bit of inflammation and feeling a little puppy has come on. So that said, I did the math today. We are 75 days until the end of the year. Um, I'm not about that 75 hard kind of challenge, but I started thinking about it and we're heading into all of the holidays, all of the get togethers, the candy at Halloween, all of the, the fall pastries, and coffee drinks, and big Thanksgiving dinners with all of those big starchy carby foods. Um, Christmas and candy and cakes and treats and all, all the things, right? All of the stuff is coming. 
And I always find myself this time of year kind of going, eh, I'm just going to relax a little, enjoy the holidays, and then I'll start again first of the year, fresh, you know, first of the year, we'll start back being healthy. No, no. All right. We have 75 days left in this calendar year to really thrive and to try to get towards a healthy place, right? We can either move backwards by just succumbing to all of the temptations and the stress of the holidays that are all coming up, or we can focus on ourselves and prioritize our own health and really move forward with trying to do our best to, despite all of the distractions these next couple of months, to really try and focus on making good choices. That does not mean, okay, does not mean torturing yourself or starving yourself or exercising to death. Like none of those things are things you, you have to do. It's just a matter of making your small goals and sticking to them. So that said, I, I thought about it today. I'm like, oh, 75 days to make some changes. Like what kind of, what kind of goals could I accomplish in 75 days, right? Like I could maybe drop a little more body fat. I might could build a little bit of muscle. I might could get better about meal prepping. I might could get better about saving and whatever it might be. You can set yourself some goals to try to accomplish this time of year so that you're not constantly telling yourself and making excuses and saying, it's okay, I'll just start the first of the year. I'll start following a budget the first of the year. I will start exercising the first of the year. I'll join a gym the first of the year. I'll start keto the first of the year. I'll start Weight Watchers the first of the year. Whatever your thing is, right? We don't have to wait 75 more days to do that, right? We can do those things today. I like, screw that. We've got 75 days. Like, go ahead and make some small changes now. And that can be setting yourself up for success in the coming year, right? So 75 days, make your own little goals and they can be small. They don't have to be big as long as you're going forward and not backward. So that's, that's what I'm thinking. I'm going to challenge myself, my personal challenges, my macros. Okay my goals for the 75 days in preparation for 2025, right? Which is already crazy to me that we're this close to next year, right? Um, my goals, I want to track my food. Okay. I'm pretty good at that right now. Um, not great though. So I want to track my food every day. That's not that hard. I, I do it most days. I can do it the rest of them too. Um, I also am I'm super active. Like I mentioned at work, I'm on my feet all day. I usually average 20,000 steps a day. It's a lot because <laughs> I'm on my feet all day at work. And then I come home and then we walk a bunch when we're home. Like that's how we kill our time rather than sit in front of the TV is we just walk and then we have dinner and then we walk again and then we go to bed. So, um, I'm going to maintain that. I would like to try to make an investment in some small weights or something that we can use here at home. Um, nothing expensive or crazy, but something we can throw back here on the back porch and be able to work out, do a little bit of, uh, weight training while we can. I would like to go ahead and start on that now, as opposed to waiting until the first of the year. Uh, my job, right? Oh, look at that. Actually, I have, I have some skin, but I have, I have bicep muscle that's visible. Like, look at that. Yeah. I'm proud of it. It's because of work. I have to hoist cases of cabbage all day. Like be a produce manager, they said. Um, but yeah, I, I want to work on my body, um, and building muscle because, you know, as you get older, you lose muscle mass and I want to be strong and be healthy as I get into my older years. So those are my goals and whatever your goals are, it can be set in a budget. It can be following a new diet. It can be cutting out certain food groups. It can be getting better sleep. It can be walking more steps every day. You pick it, but we have 75 days. You, you can make such a huge difference in your life and in your health in 75 days. Like so much, right? Like you can change so much. So I just want to encourage you guys to do that. Um, 
I am also, one of my goals for this is to really get better about communicating with y'all and filming and checking in and doing updates. Um, a lot of y'all have asked me lately, especially over on Instagram, like what my days of eating look like now. So I'm going to try and do a few of those too and get those up for you. Uh, I just wanted to catch up and bring y'all up to speed with my incredibly hectic life lately. Um, congratulate my people, right? My oldest and his chosen human and uh, the grandbaby that I have on the way. So she just hit 12 weeks yesterday. So we're kind of out of that danger zone. Um, I'm going to be a Gigi. I'm excited. So anyway, and then just to update, some of y'all recall meeting Chainsaw, my carbon copy. Darlene Chainsaw is 16. She's a junior this year. And so life is flying by, but she swears that she's just never going to leave us. So I'm okay with that too. Um, yeah. So I guess that's what's happening. So anyway, I'm going to wrap it up. Actually, she just texted me and I just saw it come up at the top of my screen. Mom, hurry up because we're going to go and take another walk around anyway. So I'm going to go do that. Here's Cedar Coke Zero for the win for the haters. The people that are like, aspartame is going to kill you. That's not. Anyway, I hope that brings you up to speed. If you have goals for the next 75 days, things you want to accomplish before the first of the year, drop them in the comments. Okay. Cause I want to know. And, um, yeah, if y'all have had like stuff happen in the last three months since I last posted, let me know what's going on with you. Do you have new big major accomplishments you've already had this year or successes or wins or things you want to celebrate? Tell me. Okay. Because I have not been able to catch up with you guys in ages. So let's do that. All right. I'm going to go walk my kid. I'll see y'all later.